Hey y'all and welcome to the Max Life. Yes, you do see me taste testing a marshmallow that we freeze dried and it is delicious. This was a marshmallow that I made homemade. And it is very, very good. I'm gonna show y'all what else we have going on in the kitchen today. Along with the marshmallows, homemade marshmallows, freeze dried those, also did apples, apples, strawberries, pineapple, and and bananas. I couldn't remember what else we did. The leftover bananas went in to make banana nut muffins, which we are also gonna take with us. And since I have an abundance of blueberries, I am also making blueberry <laughs> muffins as well. So let me tell you what all is going on. The kitchen is a mess. I have all these blueberries I have to wash and get into the freezer. And I'm gonna show y'all a new tool that I have that I'm very excited about. But what am I doing prepping in the kitchen today? So Aiden, Harley, and myself are leaving in just a couple of days. We are going off to youth camp, which is going to be like that North Alabama area. And you guys know that I don't really like eating on the road. So that means I'm in the kitchen prepping some things for us to take with us. We did go to Whole Foods and pick up a couple of box things like granola, a couple of other things, a couple of bags of chips, your cleaner version chips that we can kind of snack on on the road. It is much, much, much better than going through fast food. We don't like fast food. We try not to eat it. Aiden has had the camp food before and he said that he didn't love it either. So between trying to freeze dry a couple of things, pre-make some breakfast foods up, I'm hoping that will get us through the couple of days. We're gonna be there Thursday through um, Saturday night. We will be on, we will actually be home very, very late Saturday night around 12 o'clock. So we are excited about it, but it is a, of course, big prepping here in the kitchen, which is what I'm doing right now. And as soon as I wrap this up, all of those blueberries are gonna be washed and we are going to vacuum seal those and get them put in the freezer. Now, I have used this machine one other time and I liked it, but here was my thing with the vacuum seal is I had a small one and you guys know that when we kill off our pigs, we put them up in the freezer, it is a lot of cutting, preparing, food storage. My vacuum seal that I had was just not cutting it. So I have what's called a WeVac that I'm gonna pull out here in just a minute and get these blueberries washed up. And I'm gonna show y'all a little bit about my machine. And I have talked to the company, if you guys like this machine, you guys can get a 15% off discount using the Mac Life. I'll put all that stuff down in the description, y'all. You can click on the link, go look at the machine, check it out. Also, if you decide, hey, this is something that I want to add to my home, guys, be sure to use our discount code as well. Okay, y'all, I have my wee back out. As you can see, it is not small. I don't know if I've actually shown y'all my old one that I used to use, but it really was a pain because the slit where, like if I open this up and show y'all, the slit where my bag actually went was so small. If any little piece of it was off, it actually wouldn't vacuum seal it. And I was constantly having to adjust. So I made some sour cream, went ahead and vacuum sealed that, learned the machine, went through all of the instructions. The day that I had the camera on guys and y'all were on slow-mo, that was part of the video that y'all didn't get to see. So learning how to use this machine, it was pretty simple to do. It was just a matter of going through step-by-step -step instructions and learning this thing. 
But you see that I have a lot of blueberries right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the majority of these in the freezer. So I want to go ahead and vacuum seal those out. It would be more ideal, honestly, if I could freeze these before, but I just didn't have a chance to do that. So I'm gonna do the best I can with them. And we're just gonna get this machine on so I can get these vacuum sealed. Okay, y'all, I got my bottom part sealed. I'm gonna go ahead and put probably a couple of cups of blueberries over in here. And then I'm curious to see how the blueberries are gonna hold up while it vacuum seals. And I might not even vacuum seal it, to be honest with you. I may just put them in there. I might try one. And then if I don't like the way it does, because I don't want it to suck it so tight, then my blueberries squish, which is kind of what I'm worried about right now. And while I said it would have been more ideal if I could have gotten them frozen before, but I just wasn't able to do that. But if I can't, if it doesn't work like I want it to work, what I'm gonna do is just put them over in there in these food saver bags and just seal them off and put them in the freezer like that. It sensed the amount of pressure that it needed because my blueberries surprisingly are not squished. So really happy with this packaging, y'all see? It's really great and for them to not be frozen, I am very happy with this. We're gonna finish up the rest of these blueberries and get those over into the freezer. And guys, then I'm gonna go out and water because it is super dry. We have not had any rain. I'm gonna take you guys along for that as well. I just wanted to just show you my new vacuum seal machine because this thing was desperately needed on our farm. When we put up our pigs in about two weeks, it will be so much easier to cut my bags, stuff my bags, literally toss them over in the machine get those things sealed up. It's hassle-free instead of like my little one where I'm kind of trying to constantly um, shift the bag around and make sure that it's in the perfect position for it to vacuum seal it up. So I am very excited about this. So I have my bag prepped right here. I wanted to show y'all how easy this was. So it just slides right there under those. And I'm just gonna literally close it with my settings on. just like that it's done okay i was able to get all my blueberries done i got the mess from the freeze dryer and y'all when i tell y'all that was a mess it was so bad my marshmallows i thought i had them cut small enough i knew that they were gonna puff up well they weren't small enough and they puffed up so high that they literally freeze dried into the shelves so when I was actually taking that shelf out it crumbled everywhere then when you defrost of course then it gets mushy again so I had a humongous mess on my hands to say the least and that took a little while to clean all that mess up but I have made it outside as you can see I've got to get water started in my high tunnel I'm going to tell y'all what I did yesterday and I, w I wish I could have been able to grab the camera, but I just didn't have time the time to stop, go in, get it all set up, and bring it back out here. But I wanted to talk y'all through quickly what I did yesterday. So I told y'all that I had seen a vine borer. I'd been expecting it. I knew it was gonna happen. So I come out here and I seen signs of a vine borer. And basically what it looks like is at like the limb of your squash, like like right here for example right there you would see some yellow almost like matty looking um okay i'll show you right here y'all see this spot right there kind of almost that like matty looking uh, yellow gunky stuff so that's where a worm has actually gone in fine borers what they do is they come and they lay eggs uh, in the soil the worms literally hatch out from the eggs 
they get into your i wish i would have had time to to get de it might have helped you know i don't know then they go into your vine and begin eating it and it leaves behind a yellow mush so what i did yesterday is every place that i saw that on my squash what i did is i come in and cut that vine open as you can see it is open I've tried to kind of push it back together as much as I could. I fed these guys really heavy with some rabbit manure, watered them really, really well, and then I coated them with DE in hopes that if there are any more worms in the soil, that when they come up and they attempt to get in my plant, that it will, the, what the DE is supposed to do is slice them open and then they dehydrate. Um, supposedly is what's supposed to happen now they need to be watered again so I am going to water everything out here again today I will have to come back out here and reapply DE because that is the downside with DE is it's a powder and once the water pretty much dissolves it you're reapplying it again so I am going to get the sprinkler I'm not gonna hand water everything out here today and we're going to sprinkle i'm going to push these sides up a little bit more i'm going to put the sprinkler in here and hopefully i can get as much of that section the middle section and the section over there as possible it is really really warming up in mississippi we have not had rain for several days and when it is really really hot and there hasn't been much rain that means that either i'm out watering one of the kids are helping me water or colby is watering what did you get Oh, so, I know. I'm gonna eat them. You're, you better share. You better not eat all of those. <laughs> Sailor, I mean, uh, Livy and Daddy likes them too now. I'm gonna wash up and <laughs> All right, we'll take them inside while I water. actually dread to know what my greenhouse is going to look like because it's so hot yeah this pepper's kind of wilted here it's got a couple nice little peppers on it too i just need to get this thing watered for sure so oh yeah my pineapple sage needs water y'all it's so hard we had something this morning until lunch and get that cleaned up making bread making muffins putting the blueberries up getting the stuff out of the freeze dryer tons of stuff on the list of course and when you put off watering this is what you get so i've got to get in there and get watered and y'all if you didn't see the clip of the plum tree y'all have heard me talk about my plum tree i have stressed about this plum tree the plums are so close to being done and the tree is absolutely ever more loaded down now they're probably all going to come in about the next week when i'm going to be gone colby does a lot but he doesn't make plum jelly so i told him you might have to pick them you're gonna have to put them in the freezer until i come back yes you can do that so let him and the little kids pick all the plums get them washed real good put in the freezer and then we will be making plum jelly so lots of stuff checked off the list today glad to have it all done that's for sure now i'm going to get this hot house watered hope you enjoyed this video guys if you like the content of us showing you the things that we do every day inside how farm chores in the kitchen happen all the way to the things rolling out outside y'all please subscribe y'all give us a thumbs up we enjoy always hanging out with you guys and sharing the things that we do here on the farm and the things that happen amongst our family. God bless and happy homesteading, y'all.